Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. You're joining me and the bready boza who is sat on my dressing table, my dressing table? No he's not, he's sat on my dressing room chair and how to define not having a backbone is not being able to tell your cat to move off your chair and sitting on the floor. But anyway, good morning. How are we all doing? It might not be the morning for you guys, but it's the morning for me. I have a really, really busy day today and I thought I would just pick up the camera, put some face cream on. I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of makeup on today. I actually just filmed um, an ad for my Instagram for this cream. Uh, not sponsored over here, but I just, this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I already spoke about it because I, it was in my Cosmetips edit, but I just, oh, so much same foundation that i've been banging on about house labs insane been getting a lot of questions about what shade i wear this in i have mentioned before i wear it in 230 light medium cool bit of a mouthful actually managed to secure myself a little bit of time today to go to the shops i haven't been shopping or like just to the shops I don't know why I sound like a granny. I've never been to the shops i've not been to the shops in years but i haven't been shopping or just like to any shops in so long. Um, mum life has really been mum lifing and work life has been work lifing and it's just been a lot recently. Like I feel like I literally have not had a day of like, what should I do today in so long? I, I miss those days. I'm not gonna lie. I love being a mum so much, but boy, do I miss the days of like, especially at the weekend where you're like, oh, what should we do today? Like you just never really, I don't know. I mean, you can have those days when you have a child, but it's just different because you have to think about so much. But yeah, today I have secured myself a little bit of time to go to the shops. Also guys, we had an absolute catastrophe the other night. When I say we, I mean literally just me. It was just a me problem. Um, So I don't know if you guys know, I think I've mentioned it on here a couple of times. I will move this vlog on in a minute. Don't worry, I just wanted to catch up with you guys and say hello before we go into this vlog. But basically, I've mentioned a few times that I've had major issues with piercings. What a random topic to bring up. But yeah, my piercings have caused me many a problem over the years of having them. Um, this piercing up here I had done when I was approximately eight months old. Okay, that's a big fat lie. I had it done when I was about maybe 14 or 15 or something like that. To this day, I still have problems with it we're talking 10, 10 years, like heading on 10 years. Like I still, it still flares up sometimes. But I had a piercing done that I'm not gonna show you too much. I'm not gonna zoom up to the camera and I'm definitely not gonna show you the, the back of it because you will honestly vomit and probably will never return to my channel ever again, which we don't want. You can see a bit, uh, basically I had a hoop here. And a year and a half ago is when I had the piercing. I have never had as many problems with the piercing than I have with this. It, has been agony since the day I got it, like keeping me up at night, bleeding, pussing, oozing, like it just doesn't heal. No, did not agree. And I was like, I'm not taking it out. I've persevered with this for too damn long. Like I've not done a year and a half of this being a state to then take it out and let it close up. But the other night I was lying in bed and I awoke in bed and I'm not joking you, da -dum. Du -dum, du -dum. my ear had a pulse, my ear had a literal heartbeat, my ear was on fire, like it felt like someone had got a match and literally set my ear alight out of nowhere, I was like oh my god, like I, I was in so much pain, my ear was literally pulsating, I felt like it was going to fall off, so I just like took the earring out of it, put the earring on the side, um, went to sleep and like just slept through the pain, woke up and looked in the mirror it was honestly, it was so bad, so bad. Like I have a full on keloid scar. It's huge, it's on the back of my ear. It's literally like about that big. It's like a big bulbous, it looks like a wart um, and they don't go away. Peace and love, like that's actually just what I need. My ear right now is kind of like how my downstairs area was to me after birth. You just don't look, you give it a good few weeks before you even dent take a take a gander to that area it was so bad for a year and a half i'm really glad i did that it was so worth it because i've ended up taking it out anyway so <laughs> i've been molly and you've been great thanks for listening <laughs> So we've just nipped out for a bit of lunch. I got my standard chicken salad that I always get from here. We've got some pizza bread and hummus and Erin got a grilled wrap, which looks delicious. Bit of lunch and then we're gonna head off. And no, I'm not 
not planning on moving house. We're just scouring apartments on right move just to be nosy. Guys, I'm a bit terrified. It literally looks like the world's about to end. Don't know if you can see that little rainbow above there probably not coming across on the camera the sky is as black as the night and it's two o'clock in the afternoon um but here we are we've made it to the shops we're at on the tan uh first stop home sense we're gonna see what christmas goodness they have in here um i'd like some new candles i'd like just everything really let's see what they've got to offer i'm excited for these tunes <laughs> favorite bit but we're gonna have to make it quick or else I'm gonna get absolutely copyrighted but we're just doing some candle smelling oh god oh my god there's so many good ones here vanilla chai oh our driver that's taking us um for this ski shoot tomorrow with PLT has just turned up to Erin being like hi Erin I'm ready to pick you up and she's like you've got the wrong day <laughs> he's gone all the way to us and he's got the wrong day this one's really nice Classic. Oh, Erin, this is in the scent of the cake we just bought. Oh. We've just bought one of these cakes. I don't know how you pronounce it. Pantone. Panatone. 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 And this is in that scent, and it smells great. I might get that. Also, you should see the state of the trolley. We've bought so much. We've literally the, the trolley stacked, stacked high. I don't know what's come over me. And everything's Christmas in it. It's, it's like a Christmas bonanza in here. We're going wild. And Erin's not helping because she's like, what about this? What about this? Oh my God, you should get this. You should get that. I'm like, Erin, you don't need any more. Oh, guys, I'm really laughing. Erin just said, this is me. Damaged but adorable. Absolutely. This is really nice, guys. I never really realised that, how, like, crazy home scents go on their, like, Christmas wrapping. Like, there is so much, op there's so many options here for, like, ribbons, bags, wrapping paper, like, everything that you could possibly need for your wrapping. Like, look at this. I love that, it's so cute. Like, I think that was so rustic and so cute. I absolutely love that. It feels like really nice quality stuff. Oh my <laughs> gosh, what is that? <laughs> no, what is that? Because whatever it is, I need it. I need it. What is it? I think it's like a little coat for her. Is it? <laughs> real with you all okay I've pulled a Molly special and I think you can see that by the fact I have completely different hair different nails I look like a different person than I did in the last part of this video just because if I'm completely honest the last part of the video was a little while ago life has really I know I said this at the start of the video but life has been lifing I feel like the last few weeks for me have literally been the busiest few weeks of my entire life they always are around this time of year just because it's Black Friday period and things are just hella hectic but hello everyone I'm back on this video now and it's going to be carrying on as usual I have literally been storing the home sense bits that I bought when I was there with Erin we were in that shop by the way for I'm not even joking you heading on two hours like God knows what we were doing in there. We were obsessed. We picked up that the trolley was literally overflowing. It's the biggest home scent shop I have ever done. I am such a last minute girly. Like I am that girl on Christmas Eve that is running around trying to get Christmas presents for my family. And like, it's actually turning me gray. Like it's aging me. And ain't nobody got time for that anymore. Like, especially now that I'm a mum, I need to be more organized. And when I was in home sense, I didn't really go for this. I went for like little home bits, but I actually got so many gifts for people. And I want to show you what I picked up because I got some really, really great stuff. I am so happy to say that I'm actually working with HomeSense on this part of the video, which you guys know is an honor for me. Absolute dream collab. And I'm going to run through quickly what I picked up because I got loads. Okay, starting with a couple of gifts that I did pick up for myself because it would have been rude not to. I cannot go to HomeSense and not pick up candles. And I picked up two really gorgeous Christmassy candles. They're quite similar. This one has like a cute little like house theme on it like little gingerbread houses like a little christmas setup they are absolutely huge on the inside i know these are gonna last me all winter season another little thing that i picked up for myself kind of for myself but also for the family was this really cute little christmas decor piece obviously it's a little bambi i feel like bambi's name is so great through christmas time because obviously there's like so many reindeers and deers and like it's very relevant and i saw this and i just thought that was really gorgeous i thought i might pop that in her room i then grabbed a couple of stocking fillers for zoe i found this bare brick which i thought was really 
cool. I feel like it kind of will make your eyes go a little bit fuzzy, but I absolutely love it. I feel like this will look really cute in Zoe's house. This was $16.99. And then I also picked her up some bath salts. They had such a huge section of bath and like body care products and home scents. So I picked some bath salts up for Zoe as a little stocking filler too. For Tommy, I saw this little collection of totally embarrassing dad jokes. These were $4.99. Like such a good little stocking filler. Not that he needs any more embarrassing dad jokes because he already has plenty up his sleeve, but I thought that was quite cute. And then I also picked him up a gym water bottle. But you can never have enough of these in our house. Like we have so many of them. I'm not sure who I'm going to give this to yet, but I picked up this little mini table ping pong set. Not too sure what our Christmas plans are yet, but if I am hosting it, I thought this would be really cute to have for Christmas Day for us to play. And um, this was $14.99. Then picked up this diary for my dad. I thought this was really cute. It has like stickers inside of it. I love stickers. This was $7.99 and I feel like it looks kind of like rustic and really nice quality. And my dad loves a diary. So I thought that'd be a nice little stocking filler for him this year. And then one of my favorite finds, I picked up a big set of photo frames. I say a big set, there's three in here, but they're really large. I actually had a Christmas photo shoot done with Bambi. I've not posted any of the pictures on social media. I just wanted to keep them for us, but I'm planning to get them like put into frames for our friends and family. This was $24.99, which I think is actually a really good price for frames this big, and they feel really nice quality as well. And of course, I did pick up a few bits for Bambi. I didn't go crazy. I just got her this little toy giraffe. And then I also picked up this collection of Winnie the Pooh books, which I thought would look really cute displayed in her room. I did also pick up loads of pieces to decorate my table with this year. And I've actually posted a picture over on my Instagram. I'll insert it here of all the pieces that I picked up from HomeSense to decorate the table. I've got so many insane finds. Just think the value for money at HomeSense is absolutely insane. And I never really thought to pick up Christmas presents from there before. I viewed it more as just getting like home bits from there and bits for me. But I'm so happy with all the gifts that I found. And there's so many insane stocking fillers in there for you to find for your family and friends. Yeah, just a little insight as to a few of the things I picked up from HomeSense. And thank you so much HomeSense for sponsoring this part of the video. Right now I'm sat in a really busy town centre and everyone's walking past my car looking at me talking to myself. Do you know what we're powering through? It's the afternoon now on a Tuesday and I've had a really hectic morning. But now I have a really nice afternoon planned and I'm actually just going to head down to my friend's shoot that they have on right now for their brand treats. I'm going to head down and just be there this afternoon with them and do something that's like not to do with my work and like my stuff going on. I also got my hair done yesterday, which I'm sure you guys can notice. I feel like it has been so long since I've had my hair done, like probably the longest I've ever gone without having my hair done actually. I was essentially becoming a complete and utter brunette and I wasn't mad about it. Like my natural hair has grown so, so, so much because I've completely laid off the bleach. I mean, obviously now we've not, we've gone straight back on the bleach, but I've gone for a nice and natural length with the extensions, which is so nice for like, that blow dry look. But like gone are the days of like my hip length really unnatural looking crazy long blonde hair like that's just not really my style anymore i've either not got my extensions in at all and i've got completely natural slick back egg hair or if i do have my extensions in i'm just thoroughly thoroughly enjoying this length and even a little bit shorter but my natural hair no word of a lie is like head okay that's a big fat lie it's not heading on this length at all but it's not far off i also have the most insanely exciting thing going on tomorrow which i don't think you guys are even gonna like believe when i tell you i'm not gonna talk about it now we are about to enter a whole new damn chapter like and i'm not even just saying that to like get you guys excited like genuinely I'm really excited. To, I, I'm going to be able to tell you guys like all about it and bring you guys fully on it. It's probably not going to interest everyone, but it really interests me and I'm literally so excited about it. So that's going to be a huge part of this vlog and we're going to be doing it all tomorrow. This may, I'm literally talking in riddles as per usual. It's going to make no sense, but don't worry, like five minutes down the line of this vlog, you're going to know what's going on. But for now, I'm going to head into Manchester city centre where the girls are doing their shoot for treats, spend the afternoon with them and then head back before Bambi's bath time so I can bath her, put her down for bed. And I also think Erin's going to stay around tonight before we set off on our adventure tomorrow which i'm just so excited to bring you guys along i just like honestly it's so random kind of not random i don't know a few of you guys may like i've seen it coming i don't know anyway speak to you guys in a bit quick detour i whoa lots of shining going on a uh, quick detour at my favorite place <laughs> trafford center <laughs> guys why do i actually live here like what is my problem with trafford center like why do I literally just want to live here? Um, I'm just running in because it's Anuska's son's birthday today. Um, he turns four, so I'm just going to grab him a quick present because I'm going to be honest, bad friend move, I forgot. 
so I'm gonna run in here now, see what I can find. Then I'm gonna go to the shoot with the present, looking like I had it all along. Looking like a really good friend that remembered when I, I didn't. I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking she's back home. She didn't show us anything of her day, but don't worry guys, because this, this, this was just a trial, okay? This was just like a trial for the vlog. I had to just switch my camera on because honest to God, I cannot quite believe the television that I've just watched on the TV for the last hour and a half. I'm a celebrity getting out of here is Best believe I'll be watching every single episode for the next three weeks. Like I don't do that with any TV show. Like I'm not really like a TV watcher. I have like my favorite films that I just repeat watch over and over. It's like a comfort thing. Um, I'm a film girl, I'm not a series girl. Best believe at 9 a.m. every single night for the next three weeks, you will catch me watching I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. The content on this show this year, I, me and Erin were watching it together tonight because Erin's staying around before our exciting day tomorrow. Every single five seconds, me and Erin were like, <gasps> like there was so much drama, so much gossip, so much going on. Like I literally couldn't comprehend what I was seeing. I enjoyed it so much. So yeah, loving that this year. I actually have a blood test first thing tomorrow morning, which is not the vibes. It's not really how you want to start your day off, especially if you're like me and you're terrified of blood tests. But I actually had a blood test not that long ago and it went really smoothly. I don't know why Erin always seems to be there when I have my blood test and she's going to be there tomorrow. So I'll be absolutely fine. I'll get through. Just using a little bit of the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I don't know what flavour this one is. It's like a green one. It smells really nice and fresh. I've got these, like, in, I've got this in every single flavour it comes in. I just love it so much. This is the cleanser that I'm using at the minute, guys. It's the ZO Skin Health, ZO Skin. I wouldn't um, probably recommend this to everyone. It's like, it's kind of like medicated. You like sometimes, I actually got this from like a pharmacy. It wasn't like prescribed to me or anything, but um, it's quite strong stuff. And I'm still trying to work out at the minute if my skin really needs this. It's just like everyone around me, like my sort of group I have around me, everyone uses this skincare stuff and they all swear by it and everyone loves it. And I'm like the only person that doesn't use it. Um, and their skins are all amazing. So I was like, I need to get on this stuff. But honestly, like this, uh, I hate to say it. And sometimes I feel like it sounds like a really cocky thing to say, but I do honestly feel like sometimes I can wash my face with washing up liquid and it, like I could wash my face with shampoo and my skin wouldn't break out like I'm really lucky that I can get away with kind of using anything on my skin the only thing that really breaks my skin out is when I don't wash my makeup off properly or when I'm on my period but yeah I'll let you know with like the expensive skincare products I think they're really good because I also got these resurfacing pads as well but I do really like these they're quite strong like kind of a little bit stingy when I put them on I don't know if that's a a good thing or not only because it would be rude not to mention it again because i've mentioned it in every single vlog at this point um my hair was finished like my hair was finished being done at about eight o'clock last night um and as you can see i mean you probably will say no it's not but um that's actually the separation happening now in my root because it's going greasy that's actually less than a day less than oh look it's just over a day I'll dry shampoo out at the ready although i have been recommended by quite a few people to actually spray dry shampoo into my hair and then go to bed and let the dry shampoo kind of like soak in maybe i'll try that actually i'll do that now and see if that works When they say sleep in it, I think you're actually meant to like douse your hair in it, like literally saturate your hair on dry shampoo, but my hair's not that greasy yet, so I don't need to do that. Oh, got a nice little spot. That's literally me, karma for me saying that I could wash my face with shampoo and it'd be okay. Anyway, guys, um, me and Erin are going to head to bed now. We have an early start in the morning, nice blood test, but then we've got a lovely day planned ahead of that, so I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Sorry, why do I literally look like I'm from a different era? Like, what? I feel like I'm giving. Like, I don't know what. It's. It doesn't... This is not... I look like... With these earrings and this hair, I feel like Meredith Blake. But <laughs> not in a good way, because Meredith Blake is hot. And I don't look hot right now. Anyway, guys, listen. I know it's so boring for you all. Like, you're like, oh my god, all you literally do is, is vlog to apologise for not vlogging. I'm not actually going to do that. 
I'd like to do that, but I'm not going to do that. Basically, this will be the most mis mishmash vlog you will have ever watched. Like, I'm 100% letting this one take the crown because if you actually knew all the different times that this has been filmed in, like, you would simply combust. Like, it's actually not okay. But basically, I just, I vlogged the exciting day that you're about to see. There's hardly any footage, but I need to just basically fill you guys in and give you guys a bit of a story time. Also, I will say that I've just filmed a get ready with me, a chit chat get ready with me, which is going to be coming in a few days time. So that's why I'm sad. Like, it was literally right here. The exciting thing and the new chapter that I am entering into, and I'm still going to say entering because as of right now in this part of the vlog, like I was literally so excited. I was so happy. Like I was absolutely buzzing because I believed that I was about to go and buy a horse. I know, random, right? Well, I don't know, kind of random, kind of not. Um, you guys, obviously, if you watch my videos, will know that I have started a horse riding journey and I started horse riding about three years ago. It was always a dream of mine, like the top dream of mine to like become a really good horse rider. Like it's just always something that I wanted to do and like a hobby that I wanted to start. So I started three years ago, then I had my endometriosis operation and I had to take a really long break. So I went back recently and I just, I just love it so much. Like it sounds cringy but it's literally like therapy for me because when I'm on the horse and when I'm riding the horse the only way I can describe it is that like you literally don't think about anything else other than riding the horse and I don't know I, d I just absolutely love it like the hour a week that I get well it's 45 minute lesson but like those 45 minutes are just like pure bliss because you are completely switched off from the world and I know everyone's gonna say like you are so extra and it's so not necessary like to have a few horse riding lessons then go and buy your own horse but it's just something that I really wanted to do and when I was younger like I would dream about having my own horse one day and like having that life for myself and being a horse owner and now I'm so incredibly lucky to be in a position where I'm able to do that and I'm like why the hell not like let's go and do it like let's buy a horse and let's have this one horse that I can learn on and I think that's more than anything like why I wanted to do it because it's very hard to get good at horse riding if you are learning at a riding school and you are changing horses every week and you can't create a relationship with one you don't really know how they're going to ride each week and you spend probably like half of the lesson really getting used to the new horse and also trying to get the horse to listen to you and to like do what you need it to do when when you have your own horse sorry like it's that is all done already because you've created that relationship with them and you're always riding them and yeah I think it's quite self-explanatory why like I'd rather have my own than just like ride a different one every week so basically yeah me and Erin went all the way down to Somerset which you're about to see to view this horse I've been using actually as someone who's a family friend to me who was kind of acting not as like a horse agent but basically she was looking for horses for me um because she knows what I would need and she knows how the industry works it's a bit of an iffy industry like horse um selling and buying like i didn't know enough about it to not have someone help me with it so basically a family friend of mine was looking for horses for me and she had been for about a month or so and she found this incredible horse all the way down in somerset and she went to view him for me and then she was like listen you need to come and see this horse like he's absolutely incredible i think he's like everything that you'd want and more um so what you're about to see now is <laughs> When me and Erin went all the way down to Somerset. I'll let you watch this now and then I'll come back to you. It's only like a tiny bit of footage anyway, so I'll just... Good morning, guys. So the near four hour journey is complete. It has gone so quickly, in my opinion. I feel like it's literally flown, probably because I'm excited. Blood test was done this morning. Don't really want to talk about it. It was absolute hell. Um, have to return back tomorrow, um, which isn't ideal because the woman needed to get four, like, I call them like test tubes, like vials of um, blood from me. Like she barely got one, so it was an absolute fail. Um, so we're going back tomorrow. It was just, um, yeah, not a nice experience. I was there for like nearly an hour. Um, so yeah, not ideal that we've got to go back tomorrow, but we've got to do what you got to do. So we are like 10 minutes away now from viewing, I was going to say the pony. He's definitely not a pony. He's a stallion baby. Um, he's not a stallion either, he's just a horse. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited, a little bit nervous because me and Erin have had to cancel our horse riding lessons two weeks in a row now. So this is actually the first time sitting on a horse in like a couple of weeks for me. Um, and it's like a potential horse for me to buy. So I don't know, I'm all like a little bit anxious and excited and nervous. But I've not updated him because I'm No, I haven't told him that we're actually... No, I've, he'll die. My mum and dad will die when I've been with you. Is that what? <laughs> I know, we should send them a kitchen. Yeah, I know. Just say nothing. <laughs>
Before you go to the left, yep. soft in hands, leg on. Do the right thing. So just give them a pat. And yeah, that now brings me to here. So that was me viewing the horse. Obviously, there was only a tiny little bit of footage. I've been like really trying to figure out what I want to say <laughs> about the whole experience. Um, I've been trying to work out like how much I really want to share. And I, I never want to come on here and like, oh, you know me, I'm so scared to say anything on here. Sometimes I watch my old videos back and I'm like, I can't believe I said that. Like, I can't believe I was brave enough to say things like that. Like, I'm terrified to say anything these days and I just I spend my life not saying hardly anything because I'd rather say nothing than say something that's going to get me in trouble but I just left that whole experience feeling really disheartened like we'd driven all the way down to Somerset it was literally like over four hours in the car and it just wasn't a nice experience like the woman that was selling the horse was absolutely lovely like she was so nice like I actually got along really well with her we had a lovely chat she was such a lovely person but unfortunately there was someone else there when I was viewing the horse that like completely spo spoiled the whole experience for me and honestly just made me want to get back in the car and drive all the way back up to Manchester and I was like I don't even want to ever look at another horse ever again yeah just some like really horrible comments were made um I literally walked away from that feeling this big and I have met some people in the horse industry already that like are, are not very nice it's, it's an interesting industry there's some people that are like absolutely lovely and so kind and amazing and also I know this isn't going to be interesting for everyone I'm really sorry but yeah I don't know it's a very interesting industry and I kind of left seeing that horse the horse I literally thought I was going to walk away having bought because I was like I love him like I if I ride him and I and he's amazing I will buy him and I'll take him back up to Manchester so I was really excited and I literally yeah I left it feeling so incredibly disheartened and sort of wanting to give up on the whole idea really I also saw another horse that day that I didn't film and um, he also wasn't right for me so I think my plan is now with the whole purchasing a horse and my horse riding journey is I think I might reconvene in January. I'm going to carry on with my lessons. I'm going to carry on learning. And then I'm not closing off to buying a horse. But I think for now, yeah, the whole experience just really put me off. My family friend and the woman that's helping me find one, like she was absolutely lovely and so sweet. It was just a really weird experience that day. Like we traveled so far and like the people there knew that. And they literally like, I've never ever, I've never been around anyone like that before. Like not for a very long time anyway like I just feel like I'm really lucky to be around really nice people all the time so when you're around someone that's like not a nice person you, you really take I was really taken aback and you know what maybe there was just a miscommunication in the whole thing and I think the horse that I was viewing the beautiful white horse that you guys will have seen like he needed a much more experienced rider like he was looking for like a retirement he didn't want to be like a show horse anymore like their owners didn't want that for him so he actually would have probably been like a really great horse for me but I think like the novice that I am I'm like a true novice like I'm such a big and I just don't think that one person was okay with that but the other person wasn't I'm speaking in riddles right now and I really don't want to say anything wrong listen like miscommunications happen and it was just a shame because I really really wanted to get that horse and it just didn't happen um and that's absolutely fine so yeah I'm excited to bring you guys on this journey with me and I know so many of you are going to be like honestly like this is ridiculous like you don't need a horse at this stage like you literally you've only been doing it a little while but listen like I just it's something that I really want to do for me and I only want a horse so I can literally give it the most incredible incredible home and the most incredible care and give it an amazing amazing life so yeah I'm excited to bring you guys along on the journey I don't think it's going to happen for a while but I'll keep you guys updated and comment down below if you do want to like be involved in the journey because I know as I said it's not interesting for everyone and I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder thinking like I literally look like I'm I don't I've aged like a hundred years like why do I look like this I literally look like I look like an old Meredith Blake it's not giving anyway enough of the horse chat now I'm in London for some work and I thought I would carry on the vlog just a little bit. I don't know how much I'll get time to show you guys, but I need to show you guys something because this vlog has been a shocking mess. Guys, I don't really know what to come on here and tell you right now. I know, I know how bad I look. Um, trust me, however bad I look, I feel 20 times worse. Oh my gosh. Um, I am posting this vlog today. It is probably one of the worst vlogs I've ever created. Um, but I want to post it today because I put on my Instagram yesterday saying that I've had to take a bit of a break from YouTube and I want to come back on here for you guys and I have this video and I, I want it to go live so I'm just closing it off. Um, I also have another video coming soon, um, the Q&A that I was talking about um, when I was sat in that spot. Um, I did like a get ready with me and I also answered some of your guys' questions and that's coming soon too. These have both been pre-recorded videos, um, to be completely honest. I've been going through it in more ways than one. Um, 
yeah hoping that in i'd say about a week i might be in a place um mentally and physically and emotionally where i can start filming some proper content for you guys again and get back on my channel um so just please bear with me i am really really desperate to come back to you guys um anyway i hope you enjoyed this video it was very random um and probably one of the worst worst vlogs i've ever made but anyway i love you all i'll be back soon have a get ready with me coming soon and i will speak to you guys this is honestly been the weirdest outro ever we'll catch up soon anyway i love you guys and i'll speak to you very soon